Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your very late night. At this point, it's early morning, very early morning. Late out of date, SmackDown and AEW Rampage. Review! Um, why am I, why I didn't do this late night? I wasn't home, but I, I gotta tell you. Freaking, uh, I'm gonna do a future video. Let's just say I wasn't gonna be happy if I watched SmackDown or stayed home and watched SmackDown. And I ended up not being happy going to a movie. I am very disappointed of how fucking shit Halloween Ends was. And this move, this show ends up being just as bad as Halloween ends. It's like it, it's like that again. You say, like, "Oh, well, well, how could you say that? The show is probably good. no." You know, oh, uh, Mysterio is there. Mysterio was in the uh, the show, and uh, Bray Wyatt, and he spoke. By the way, out of character. Yeah, show had his moment SmackDown, right? I saw some clips. Just like Halloween ends, it had some moments, but then it ended up being a shit show in general. This show was a shit show. Entire wrestling shit is a shit show. So both, everything was just as bad as Halloween ends. We'll definitely talk about Halloween ends. We will. Grabbing Coca Cola is drinking my nicely. That's why I'm missing bitches. Go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Here's my focus. I am tired. I also ended up coming home late. So it's not just because of the movie. Like, uh, I did saw the movie, like, early. But then, like, I was very disappointed by that. But then I was, like, also, like, a cousin lived live nearby, the, nearby the movie show theater show, like, I, I visited them, uh, cousin's birthday was coming up, a little cousin, very nice little cousin, very nice boy cousin, you know, loved the kid, uh, you know, gave a birthday gift and sent them staying uh, there for, you know, a few hours, so, and I missed SmackDown, and honestly, that's way better to do than just watching either, either of these shit shows, okay? I mean, I could've, I could've watched the show. But it's just like, honestly, it's like, eh, no need. Because how fucking shit wrestling is. I remember, like, last year around this time, freaking. It was like last year, bear, like, around this time, really. Like, it was like, what? Brock Lesnar? It was like that. I think some something with, you know, Brock Lesnar, Roman, and. Also, they had Edge on the show. It was like or after freaking Edge at challenging Rollins, like the Hell's. It was like build a crown jewel, and that was like way better. Everything is just whatever. Anyways, we're just moving on. All right, let's start with SmackDown. So SmackDown start off with a scene of an accident in the park lot involving carrying across the Scarlet. Why was there an accident? No one fucking knows. But then Drew McIntyre comes out of nowhere and attacks Cross. Officials hold hold him back. Well, this is fine. What's the reason? How did the accident start? Maybe it'll explain, but it's just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Backstage, you see Sami Zayn, Solo Sokoa are talking with Jey Uso. Uh, so, Jey Uso, uh, but then Jey Uso interrupts. Sami asks Jey to accompany him and doesn't want last week to happen again. Sami phone rings and is Roman. Sammy mentions that about last week with Jay not helping him and Roman wants to talk to Jay to begin to argue. Jay passes the phone to Sammy. Sammy laughs. Jay wants to know what happened. Sammy says he's an inside joke with Roman. Or is an inside joke with Roman. Then eventually this leads to Sammy Zane defeating Kofi Kingston in the role of, with the help of Jay Uso. And apparently the match was 15 minutes long. Really? Again, just like, so he could beat this guy. He can beat a former WWE champion, but can't defeat Matt Riddle. 
I don't know what to tell you. This is the battle of the goofy people, anyways. I mean, I like Sami Zayn, though, but hey, it is what it is. Backstage, Triple H is talking to a few police officers, but they see Rey Mysterio approaches him. Rey Mysterio approach, uh, says that he reached a breaking point where, he, uh, where he's been going on with his son, says he won't fight his son, and not even when he's at his worst. Rey uh, says he still sees his little boy who sat in his lap and fell asleep on his shoulders. Ray says he loves WWE but can't do this anymore, so he came to SmackDown to look at Triple H's eyes and tell him I quit, and the fans boo. He asks Ray to go to him and talk to for five minutes to, to see if they can come up with something else. You see, finally, they're doing something where in terms of like, this should heart be heartbreaking to Ray, that he should not be able to want to fight his son. This is the story there, so I like this. I think this is what Vince Russo has pitched in his Raw reviews with Dr. Chris. I thought this is a genius. But it's like, I think they, they're probably taking his ideas. And again, like, they're, because they don't really know what to do. Like, you know, they have to rely on Vince Russo when he's not there, but whatever. Roxanne Perez picks... Raquel Rodriguez for the opponent of Cora Jade on NXT, and then Damage Control walks up, and and they're angry that Perez didn't choose her. Why? I don't know. And then fuck it, like who gives a shit about this? Whatever. So yeah, the Roxanne Perez person from NXT is on. Like I don't give a fuck. Um, Braun Strowman defeats two jobbers, and after the match, MVP and Almas confront Strowman. MVP says he is not the monster of all monsters. He says Braun looks normal standing to almost. MVP advises uh, Braun to not get too comfortable because monsters hang in the shadows. So they're doing the Braun Strowman almost match. I guess because, you know, they're both doing handicap matches. That's why they're feuding and because yeah, they're big. Like it or not, this is a match you could have done as a spectacle for WrestleMania. They're doing this now. I don't know when or why. What are they doing? Crown Jewel? I mean, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Backstage, Sami Zayn rags out winning his match. Juice says, you're welcome. And Zayn says he did that on his own. And with a little help from Jay, Jay asked Solo if he saw it. Solo didn't, but he was watching Sammy because he uh, can't learn a lot from him. Sammy agrees and says, now Solo will fall in his footsteps. It's just like, you know, kind of like, wow, that's dumb. Uh, L.A. Knight defeated Mansoir. And it uh, says, let me talk to you. And he insults the fan and says, I don't need a bunch of insults. <laughs> he actually said that? Yo, that's actually fucking funny. Wow, that's actually funny. Wow, he actually fucking... Wow, that's... Because, um, let's be honest, a lot of fucking fans are insults because they're fucking fat neckbeard and mongoloids. Or some of them, I mean, they might be unlucky, but it's like, I'm sorry. It was cursed from the start, guys. Especially if you fucking watch fucking wrestling. Wrestling is fucking nowadays a fucking death sentence. Like, you never gonna get any. <laughs> he puts every superstar on notice and says they can all get their tickets punched. Why? Because Dole's game, uh, whose game it is, is LA Knight's game. Yeah! I like it. I like it! I like how they did this. You know, the match wasn't too long. It's just a darn shame that, like, still this man swore guy is fucking still gee. And you're almost going back to Crown Jewel. You're gonna fucking legit get the guy killed. Like, fuck. Damage Control defeats Raquel Rodriguez, shots, shits, yeah, I should say, and Roxanne Perez, no one cares. We get another video of the Viking Rage with a voice of a woman, uh, and it's probably Sarah Logan, apparently. That's what people are saying. Legetta the Fantasma defeated Shitro, which I'm surprised they did this match already. Should they build to this? Whatever. Backstage, Sonya Dykeville says Liv Morgan has been given opportunity after opportunity, but she keeps failing. D Dykeville says Liv is just, it doesn't have it. And she's nothing but whiny, and then Liv Morgan suddenly attacks her. I mean, why does she hate Liv Morgan? Whatever, but then they brawl, and then Liv Morgan does a does this uh, big, you know, dive through the table like she's always been doing recently. 
I guess you should, there's Tommy Shanks. He's a very uh, extreme wrestler or whatever. Liv Morgan looked hot. I mean, Sonny Dykeville is fucking hot dyke. I would say, I, I'd give this a pass because they're hot. That's it, you know? That's all that matters. Apparently, Karrion Cross is injured, and there's supposed to be a fatal four-way match for the IC title number contenders match. But then he gets replaced by Rey Mysterio, which I guess that was like kind of a cool thing they were they built towards to. And, you know, at least he replaced him. And Rey Mysterio defeated Ricochet, Se Sheamus, and Sol Sokoa to become the number one contenders for the IC title. Uh, yeah, Sheamus goes for a Clover submission, but then... Uh, I don't know, Perium gets in a brawl or whatever. Oh, oh yeah, he makes the same bra uh, brawling brutes. And the Bloodline members fight away. And then Ray, Ray pins Ricochet, which I'm happy. Because who fucking is about Ricochet? And it's going to be Gunter versus Ray Mysterio down the line. Which I actually don't mind. I like it. Okay, this is gay. This is emotional. Make sure you remember that there's a person behind the character. Yeah, fucking people saying that this is emotional. So in the main event segment, you had Bray Wyatt. He has a new theme song. I'm sorry, the theme song is like weird. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it'll make, but it's like, it's like, this theme song gotta make sense, man. Or it's gotta sound something. They, why not have something similar to the fucking old theme? Like, why is this some new fucking, can't, not cool, understandable bullshit? Can you have like maybe a guy like Jim Johnson or something fucking back? Like, why is this some stupid weird gay metal crap or whatever? Um, so Bray Wyatt came out, he's like, in normal clothing, apparently, and then the fans chant, won't go back in his boy, he's like, I'm incredibly grateful, but I'm really nervous to be here, I never, I never thought this would happen, and, um, like, oh, I, I, this is just me, a version of me that you never, guys never got to see it, that was never introduced to the fans, just being me. And Jenny for the first time. <laughs> it's like, what? Are you, are you like not acting like this is the character? Like, unless this is like him being a human side. Apparently, people say he's breaking character. And it's like, really? You're not. I'm sorry. No matter if it's, I don't give a fuck that you know this guy is happy to be here or whatever. Don't worry, I like Wyatt. Or I like the person. I think the guy is talented. You should not fucking have somebody break character. That's like the Undertaker coming out, coming back, and breaking character for no reason. And it's like I'm gonna break character, but then we're gonna lead to something where I'm being haunted by myself. What sense does that make? I'm sorry, that does not make any fucking sense. And don't give me this shit. This is part of the character. How is this part of the character? It's like this is me, guys. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm breaking the fourth wall. He's basically breaking the fourth wall. It was never included in his character. He's breaking the fourth wall. Like this is me, guys. I'm generally happy that I love the fans. How does that make any? I don't fucking know. Whatever. I, I mean, I like why, but come on, this is stupid. Uh, this is like imagine what the Undertaker does. This is going to show how everybody's soft now. You know, whatever. You know, I, I I just want to share how this past year of my life, I lost two of the, like, I like I understand. You know, he's going to break, he's breaking character, you know, he's fucking mentioned that he lost people in his life. He lost, like, Luke Harper, I guess he mentioned him, like, he lo I lost a lot of things, I lost, then, we love you, Wyatt, ah! and, you know, I love you too, I love you too. You know, I lost my career, lost my self confidence. The pe people were very, very close to me. You know, I got a point where I thought everything would be done, but the be meaningless, but nothing has ever mastered anyone, and I was wrong. You know, I was I thought feeling sorry for myself, and I decided to go into the world again and see there people were everywhere. It's a fans chant, thank you. It's like, where your call coming back? When saying, look, you know where they're coming from? We're coming back, WWE. These people come and say, pray. I just want you. Thank you, man. And because, you know, I have the time to need and lost people that come too close to me. I lost my self-confidence. I felt weak. I felt vulnerable. In this wicked state, I found your word, pray. 
And I just want to say thank you. You saved my life, Bray. I thank you, Bray Chan. I, I mean, uh, that's when he started to get in character, I guess. Maybe saying that Bray saved him. I don't know. You know, uh, but like part of it was like Kim breaking character. Like, dude, you cannot be breaking your character, bro. But like, well, I mean, unless there's a point, but it's like people saying it's broke. It's like stupid. But anyways, why fans says we won't leave him alone. Fans will leave him alone, and every time he tried to get a hide, they found him, and they're the reason. But then, the Wyatt Mont logo suddenly appears on the, apparently that's what, the Wyatt face mag and the story of voice uh, from tells why the, uh, I don't you come well, with him. Your life is done. Forget the future. Forget the past. Life is over. The character says, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, but you will. <laughs> oh, but you will. I don't know. Uh, whatever. You know, just, it is what it is. Uh, it was weird. I mean, wh whatever. I guess it's just, you know, us seeing Bray Wyatt. I mean, sure, it's nice seeing Bray Wyatt, and I'm happy. It's just like, come on, you can't just have the guy just coming out and fucking... Out of real care, like you gotta still be in character no matter what. Okay, come on, yeah, it's just it's, it's I don't know, it is what it is. Anyways, we want a rampage overall. Overall, while the show had its moments, just like Halloween ends. Well, not really. Doesn't Halloween they never really had its moments, but like the show, it was a shit show in the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, this entire show, you want to see Wyatt. You only see Wyatt for, like, fucking last five minutes. And Wyatt just basically broke character. was not himself. Just like Michael Myers. He was fucking an old man. John Moxley and... Okay, let's move on to the stupid AEW. Where it just fucking shit's fucking smartiness. AEW. Bunch of fucking indie bullshit. And no one fucking cares. Or stupid gay ROH shit. John Moxley, Claudio defeated Bush and Blade, and then he sent, and then Mox sent a message to fucking Hangman Page, who should probably hang himself. Jericho versus Dan Dalton Castle is the world title match set for Dynamite. Why? No one fucking knows or cares. But yeah, fucking the stupid, this stupid gay flamboyant ass fucker that no one f that Smarks pretend to like or care about. This fuck, unless they're Yi. This guy is there. I don't know, Daniel Garcia, okay, but Daniel Garcia says that Chris Jericho hit him with the R.H. title, then he realized sports entertainers beat pro wrestlers every time, and he made up his mind to turn on Brian Danielson. Jericho says he's the greatest R.H. champion, blah, blah, blah. Then Dalton Castle, this gay guy, comes out. and like, who the fuck cares? Fucking hey. Like, fuck this shit. Uh, Nala Rosa defeats Anna J in a domestic violence fucking man on women match, which this match should not have happened. But that, would, by the way, like really, just, who, why would anyone want to see a tranny being a woman, a hot woman, by the way? Uh, at post match, Jade Cargill and Baddies come out, but security stopped them. Cargill destroyed them apparently, but Rose, Marina Shafir, and Ricky Rose escape with the title still. Um. Ethan Page defeats one of the stupid private party people, but then the firm owns Matt Hardy's contract. What does that mean? They're going to basically rape him all the time and fucking just do sh like, how, I don't even fucking get it. What What did they want to do with Matt Hardy? I don't fucking know. Can just Matt, each other? Matt Hardy just fucking quit or something? Like, why, did, why are they doing this gay shit? I don't fucking know. FTR, Sean Spears defeats the embassy. Post-match... Maria Canellis, Maria Canellis Bennett, Mike Bennett, and Matt Taven, aka the Kingdom, which I don't know, I only know about it because of this notes. Who the fuck cares? So the Kingdom, which what they're calling ROH, they're or yeah, oh whatever, they're in like in TNA supposedly. They're, they're they made their debut in AEW, and no one fucking cares. Maria announces that she's the first lady in. Pro Wrestling Winner, she says that RH and IWGB Top belong to them. The Embassy and the Kingdom beat down FTR Sean Spear till War Joe makes the save, and I just don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, Maria, hot, but again, she's still hot. She always is, but it's like, bitch, fucking come to my couch. You don't need to do this shit, and you're just with a fucking 
gay cup. Like, seriously. Uh, I don't know. I don't give a shit. It's boring people. Wait, this is how the show ends? This is actually how the fucking show ends? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, what? Wow, that's not how you end a show. This show's on fucking... I don't know. I don't give a shit. Fucking ROH. Bunch of indie shit. Smackdown. Again, like it's like Halloween ends. Had some moments. But wow, what a shit show in the end of the day. Why being out of character, which is like Michael's being out of character. And fucking Rey Mysterio, sure, he's like cool, you know, he's basically like Jamie Lee Curtis. And Sami Zayn, I guess, whatever. Sami Zayn is basically, I guess, being Alice and Strode. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I hate wrestling. I hate Halloween. I hate everything. I mean, there's more to things to live than shit, but just like, fuck. Seeing two things that you love suck on the same day, wow. What a terrible, eh, I don't know. Very disappointing. I'm tired, people. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. This will be uploaded like a morning or whatever. I'm tired. Fuck okay. it.